welcome to Taste Buds. I'm Terry Baez. I'm a food critic on the Central Coast. Each week, I share my dining experiences with a partner who I call my Taste Bud. Now, I'm sharing my rarest Epicurean delights with you. My culinary tourism has taken me to some wonderful restaurants, both big and small. Join us while my buds and I taste the world. I'm Terry Bayes, and this week on Taste Buds, we're taking you to the amazing La La Conda on picturesque Garden Street in downtown San Luis Obispo. This is, st street has always been very quirky, very sweet, very wonderful, and now with the new addition of La La Conda, a northern Italian cuisine made farm to table by one of the best chefs I've ever had is really, really an exciting place to be. So come on in and join me. Hi, we're in the kitchen now with Luciano Bartonelli, the owner of La La Conda. So where did you learn your basic chef skills? Grandma's kitchen? Mama's kitchen? No, from the chef that used to work for me. Well, you had restaurants in Seattle? So, yes. The first one was uh, Settebello, which uh, we brought Italian food to the north northwest. And we had a one in Kirkland called Strazer, and then in Bellevue Square in Bellevue, Washington. And what brought you back to San Luis Obispo? Well, I have a daughter that goes to school here and at Cal Poly, and I decided that this was a nice place to come and stay. La La Conda's been here since December 2014? About or nine months ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very quaint, very wonderful. Ten, Ten table, 30 seats, yeah. And that's uh, what I always wanted to do. I always run places with 130, 140 people. And I think uh, it was time for me to slow down and do some good food for an appreciated crowd. So tell me, what is your favorite kind of food to eat? The type of food I cook, first of all, is very simple, very traditional, uh, according to recipe that they were set long time before I was born. And you make really good desserts, too. Do you make them yourselves? Yes, I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do some, uh, of course, the tiramisu, the... Uh, lemon tart, an apple tart. We can do souffle, we can do a lot of stuff. And you do lots of different specials every day. Well, we do uh, fish and pasta special almost every day, and uh, depending on uh, what the market uh, offer and what is available in the season. Like right now, we have uh, a uh, cabbage soup that is incredible, and uh, a risotto made with uh, fresh asparagus. That's for today. I love the lasagna with the bechamel sauce. Well, that's a traditional Bolognese-style lasagna with uh, meat sauce and uh, bechamel. Okay, so what will you be preparing for me and my taste bud today? It's a hot day, so we can start with uh, prosciutto and melon. And then we can make you uh, spaghetti carbonara. Oh, that's my favorite. And then maybe the risotto with asparagus, since it's uh, special today. I'm excited to try what you're going to make for me, so I'll let you get to work, and I'll go out and start on the wine. We'll be right back with more Taste Buds. As Central Coast Now, your local community channel continues its journey to support local businesses and communities. We would love to hear from you. Yeah, you, sitting right there. When we say this is your local community channel, we mean it. So be sure to tell us what you would like us to showcase, whether it's a business or an event or something unique and different. Feel free to visit us online at centralcoastnow.tv or like us on Facebook. So don't forget to tune in to support your local businesses. The state of California has over 400,000 real estate licensees, of which just over 600 represent themselves as business brokers, but only 100 are actually trained and certified as business brokers. I'm proud to be one of the select few. When I first started thinking of selling my business, I had no idea of what it was worth. The team at Prestige gave me a quick, accurate appraisal. I would recommend the team at Prestige Business Sales to anyone. If you're a business owner considering your future options, call us today. This is our family. Great service, the staff, professional. I love the experience it was. Uh, it's very nice and clean. The staff is really helpful and um, everything seems nice. I've been treated well. I think everything's gone pretty well. Yeah, I just fixed everything. <laughs> we invite you to be part of our family. At Santa Barbara Family Dentistry, we take care of all your dental needs. you at 
my first food writing class. That's, That's how we correct. met about a year ago. Yeah. You and your husband are big foodies. Absolutely. But you don't live here. You're just... I do live here. And you live Part where of else? The time. And the rest of the time I live right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. So that's that wonderful little accent. It's a charming accent. <laughs> it's charming accent. I'm sorry, charming. So I've been like forcing you to try new California things. Oh, yes. You, you hadn't have. had a fish taco. No. You hadn't had oysters or raw fish. Mm. And you like sushi. Sort of. You did. I was there. You liked it. What else? Oysters. Octopus. And I did not. You like You liked the fish tacos? Yes. Yeah. So Betsy goes out to eat with me a lot. I force her to try things that she's not in her comfort zone. Okay, wait, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. I've tried things I never thought I would try before. Thanks to my bud, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> Luciano. Okay, here we are with the prosciutto e melone. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, that looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. So there's a melon from market? Yeah. <laughs> and what, what uh, there's a olive oil on there? Yeah, extra virgin olive oil. Nice. This is one of my, I'll have this just for lunch. <laughs> this is one of my favorite dishes. Have you had it before, Betsy? I have not had melon with prosciutto. prosciutto. No, this will be a first. And where do you get the prosciutto from? It's imported from Italy. We get it oh. from the distributor in Santa Barbara. Nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Salute. 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 There we go. The sweetness of the melon and the saltiness of the meat. I could have this just for lunch. This is the one of my favorite lunches. The is fabulous. My Nana used to eat melon every single day. Okay, you know we also make a delicious pizza. This is the margarita. Mm? Oh, so tell me, wait, 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 so come back. Well, yeah. Tell me about the margarita pizza. Well, it's just uh, Italian dough, I mean flour, okay. with tomatoes, Italian tomatoes, crushed, and uh, mozzarella cheese, and that's it. And a little basil. And basil. Mm. Did you smell? Mm-hmm. I love the simplicity of it. It's absolutely perfect. It's just marinara sauce, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, Italian basil, and a perfectly done Italian crust. A little crispy, not too fluffy, kind of like a cracker bread. And this is how pizza should be done. <laughs> and all the people in Chicago will fight with me because they like it thick and doughy. And I like it this way. This is perfect. Does he have a special oven that he prepares this in? It's a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got pizza. <laughs> this is the carbonara. Ah, and spaghetti carbonara is? That's the American Italian breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically just bacon eggs. and eggs. Bacon and eggs. I actually eggs. have made this. Nah, I make it too with my farm fresh eggs. My S girls would swear I've never cooked in my life. Oops. <laughs> I know how to And do it's that it. prosciutto egg. that you love so much. Yes. Oh, it's pancetta. pancetta. And the eggs. He does it right. So if you like pasta carbonara, or you've never tried pasta carbonara, then you need to come to La La Conda and try this, because it's like comfort food from back in our stone ages. Make everybody happy. Today is special, the risotto with asparagus. Ooh. Now, risotto is the one dish that I've never been able to make. It's so hard to do, because you can't leave it, right? Yeah, it takes a long time to cook. Oh, it takes a long time. To 17 cook. minutes. <laughs> 17. Is it 17, 17 minutes? 17. Not 18? 17. 17. Ah. Okay. Exactly what is it? <laughs> it's a risotto with asparagus. But what that is, is just a really nice abaroya rice, I think I said that right, with market fresh um, asparagus. Mmm. Oh, that's very, very good. So the wine is a verdicchio. Back in the day, next to the Chianti used to be a green fish bottle of wine, and that was what the verdicchio is. And so now it's um, it's grown up a little bit. It has a cork. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's no wonderful with all these pastas. We'll be right back with more Taste Buds.
Knowing how to market your business effectively may be overwhelming. Give your business the boost it needs to rise above the rest with the help of Noble Productions and Marketing. We take pride in representing businesses all over the Central Coast. Whatever your business, Noble Productions and Marketing's expertise in TV, print, radio, and social media can help your business realize its ambitions by staying competitive in the marketplace. Keep your brand in the public eye by giving us a call for a free consultation today. This is our family. Great service, good work. It's pain free and um, everything's fast and all is on time. With the treatment, my gums are perfectly fine now and there's no problems at all. That they make you feel comfortable, they take the time to explain, and they take care of you. We invite you to be part of our family. At Santa Barbara Family Dentistry, we take care of your entire family's dental needs. So we're three quarters through our meal. We've had a fabulous pizza, the risotto, the pasta carbonara, and the amazing verdicchio wine, which I say correctly now. So what I want you to do is I want you to come to La Conda and try all these things. You don't have to try all of them like we did, but try a pizza or try the pasta carbonara. And I want you to post your feelings, your thoughts on Facebook, either on Tastebook's page or on La Conda's page. You now get to be the critic. I want to know what you think about it. And so come on down to La Conda on picturesque Garden Street and um, tell us your thoughts. Next we're going to try some dessert. Oh. Oh. Lemon tart with a tortino di mela. Oh, tell me what this is. Tortino di mela. It's an apple tart. An apple tart. It sounds so much better when you say it. With vanilla ice with cream. Vanilla. The best in the world. Do you make the vanilla ice cream? Do we make everything here. Nice. Except the, the raspberries? Raspberry. You don't want it this. Betsy's too full. She just no, wanted to try I this. want dessert. Look at her face. I love that dessert. It's <laughs> my favorite dessert. We're swapping. No, you're too full, right, I'm Betsy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're too full. I, I know you're. That has to do it again. When my Betsy is in, in the in the essence of elegance, the thing she loves, her voice gets really high and she gets nervous <laughs> and she starts hoarding the food. So I get a little antsy when people start messing with dessert. <laughs> you don't touch yeah. my dessert. So th this woman can it can eat. Uh. <laughs> This is warm apple tart. Yes, cooked, cooked to order. order. Fantastic. I'm going to venture out and take a bite. Oh, that's right. You're an apple person. Who doesn't like apples? Uh, me. That's just crazy. Me, I don't like apples. But <sighs> if I can try to eat this right, without... No, we're, we're switching. Watch this. No, Watch your no, face. We're nope, going to switch. No, no, we're not switching. Well, we are. No, we're not switching. <laughs> I'm going to hold this right here. Uh, you can take a bite, but I'm going to hold on to the plate. No, you're not going to take it. Okay, there you go. I just now want... Betsy has two desserts in front of her because okay, she won't that's share. Good, but we're going to move the greenery. That's mint. It's not greenery. I'm going to try to avoid a lot of apple. I can't even imagine. No fruits, no vegetables. What I'm it looks like inside to, I'm you. I'm going to try it, Terry, <laughs> because I'm sure it's the best thing I'm going to ever put in my mouth. That is true. I told you that a hundred times. Mm. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> try the ice cream. I know you don't like ice cream either. Another thing she doesn't like. She doesn't like ice cream. Besides, I'm, my producer, this is the pickiest eater I think I've met. Gelato. Oh, gelato. gelato. Oh, okay. Well, gelato. Okay, gelato a volent. So. It was worth the wrestling match. Yeah. It always comes back. <laughs> it was totally worth the wrestling match. She just took it back. No, That's really, no. I'm good. I'm just no, going to no, take no. a raspberry. Thank you for an amazing meal, Jeff. Right. Thank, Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Was, it. it was amazing. She was fighting me for the, the lemon tart. Mm. I barely got a fight, uh, bite of it. So, what besides Italian food, what's your favorite kind of food to, to eat? You know, I like French food. I like Japanese food. Would you like to come with me and become the critic? Well, I, I don't know if I can become a critic, but if well, it's good... Well, sure you can. You, you know, know but if, it, if it's good, I will tell you. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Taste Buds. Hi, I'm Kay Flagg from Kay's Country Kitchen, and I want to talk to you about being on Central Coast now. I've been on Central Coast now uh, with Noble Productions for a, almost a year, and it was my first real commercial, TV commercial, and I was so... Um, impressed of the feedback I've had from this commercial. People from all over my area, tourists, 
from Paso Robles, uh, Cambria, stopping through, have watched this this uh, show for information on what to do and what to see in the area. And I've had so many new faces come in and tell me the reason they came in was because they saw this on Central Coast now. And as you can hear, I have plenty of customers here and it's almost closing time. And, and honestly, I have to say, ever since I started, they started running the Central Coast now. This has been the best year ever. Lots of people right up to the end. Thank you very much. At California Fresh Market and El Rancho Market, we're always thinking hyper-local, hyper-fresh. Here's this week's fresh idea. Now we're here in our bakery at California Fresh Market with our baker, Lewis Evans, who's going to tell us a little bit about what he does back here. We make a number of scratch-baked items here in the store. We do pies, quiches, muffins, cakes, and lots and lots of bread. Lots of bread, like we got the squaw, we got wheat, white, all sliced. We do a number, we do dinner rolls. Lots of stuff. What, tell us about your newest item here, Lewis. Uh, it's our sourdough. Um, we actually started the sourdough culture here in the store. Um, we gathered wild yeast that are here in Pismo Beach. We use that starter to make our sourdough. It's about a 48 hour process. And I understand you have a piece of that first mother loaf goes into it every time, is that right? Yep. That's pretty exciting stuff. Right here at California Fresh Market. Now that's fresh thinking. Come in and see what's fresh today at California Fresh Market in Pismo Beach and El Rancho Market in Solving. Your hyper local, hyper fresh grocery stores. Welcome to Taste Buds. Today we're at Confusion. There's a culinary trend going on where people are trying really different things and infusing different flavors together and different types of food. And one of the masters at this is Lori Nunes. She is the chef and owner of Confusion. She started originally in a food truck, but now she has a brick and mortar store that is in Pismo Beach, right in the California Fresh Center. And I promise you that the things you'll try there are some of the best things you'll ever put in your mouth. Hurry, Terry, Luciano's here, let's go! <laughs> so we are here with Lori Nunes, the owner and chef of Confusion. She makes some of the most innovative and wonderful food that I think I've ever tried. It's a Korean-Portuguese fusion, right? The food truck says Asian fusion, but really I have coined the term World Fair because we are all over the place right now. Ah, I yeah. like that, yeah, I like fair. that. And we're out there with Luciano from La La Conda, it was a nice, Italian man who's never had anything like this, so it should be good fun. I think he's a little scared. I think he is too. <laughs> It'll be all right. It's okay. So okay. what are you going to make for us today? We're going to do quite a few menu items. I've already got your balls of steel and your sweet potato fries in. We're going to do that again, my balls of steel. I've got your balls of steel in the fryer. <laughs> That's the other thing, your, your, your names for your food. Yeah, klepfu, mufu, epfu, apefu. Uh, balls of steel, balls of confusion. That's a new menu item. What's that? Uh, that is actually a rape dough that has a tricolor quinoa, nori, pickled cucumber inside of it. Uh, so now I've taken the arepa dough and filled it with like the balls of steel as roasted habaneros, cheese, spices, carrots, and they get rolled in panko and deep fried. The dough fries up really, really well. Kind of, they're about the size of a golf ball. Nice. And uh, balls of confusion come with our house made sriracha ginger uh, hummus and balls of steel come with our house mage, but Leoli. You taught all this yourself or did you go to school? I did go to culinary school um, uh, under the guise that I just wanted to learn the foundation of everything that I then wanted to go and mess with, and that's what I've done with since culinary school, so. And so you've been in Pismo for how uh, long? A brick and mortar, uh, it was a year, January 24th. Wow. Food truck will be five years in April. That's amazing. Insane. Insane, but yeah. I, clearly it's working. It's doing something right. I know. I hear everybody's always talking about how wonderful the food is well, here and how different nice. it it's is. Nice to hear. It makes all the hard work worth it. Yes. Yeah. All righty. All right. Let's eat some food. Food. We'll be right back with more Taste Buds. Looking for something fun to do close to home? Check out Charter On Demand Central Coast Now channel. Planning a staycation? Watch our shows for some great local excursions. Want to shop locally? Check out our Live, Think, Buy Local shows and support businesses in your community. Ready to taste all the delicious food on the Central Coast? Learn about great neighborhood restaurants on our shows. Planning weekend wine tasting? Join us as we tour local vineyards. Watch Central Coast Now on Charter On Demand. A great way to find fun in your own backyard and support your local businesses. This is our family. Didn't have to wait a long time. I've been here for like a week and a half and I've already had my crown fixed, cleaning, and two fillings put in. Chewing, 
I do that for man, I feel like I can just like <laughs> one bite and just, you know, take down the whole steak. They have been very nice and very, very accommodating and everything that they've done for us. We invite you to be part of our family. At Santa Barbara Family Dentistry, we take care of all your dental needs. It's time again for one of the best food and wine events on the Central Coast. The annual Santa Barbara County Vintners Festival features over 100 member wineries presenting a vast array of their wines, along with some of the best local food from restaurants, catering companies, and gourmet food creators. The Vintners Festival takes place on Saturday, April 25th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Riverview Park in Bealton. For tickets and information, call us or go to sbcountywines.com. Hello, we're here with Luciano Bartinelli, the owner of La La Conda, and he's trying something new today at Confusion. Oh, very, very excited. All right, now you have to be scared, Luciano. These are a bowl of steel. <laughs> you okay with spicy? Yeah, I Perfect. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, we're going to put this on the Spicy or sweet? Good. So, these are these are rolled in some kind of magic berry dust, but she won't tell us what it is. It's not panko, it's not bread, and then deep fried. So half the time when you have sweet potato fries, they're kind of mushy. These are not mushy at all. Oh, they only fry a new one, they were French fries. Right? You've never had sweet potato fries? No. That's awesome. Right, I'm moving on to the balls of steel. I love the names for everything. <laughs> so it's Arabian dough, which my Portuguese grandmother used to make. What do you think of these? Yeah, very interesting. Very different. Spicy. All right, my friends, so what do we think so far? He's impressed. You're okay? Yeah. You're living? <laughs> spicy. I survived. All right. Well, if nobody's drinking this. There you go. That was for you. Thank you. There you You're go. saving me. There you Solid go. Day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. He's trying new things. All right, well, good. don't get full yet because we're working on a bevy of tacos for you. We're going to get some ahi tacos, some fish tacos, and some bulgogi tacos. Bulgogi. What's that? Bulgogi. It's like a sweet, it's a top sirloin um, and a really, really sweet marinade. It actually has the Asian chimichurri and water broccoli salt on top. Ooh, look at this. Uh, now see, I fell Second in love first, with you with these. Not the same as the first. No. That's why they happen to be on the plate. <laughs> so remember what I said, they're square tacos. So this is our ahi taco, a taco. It's got a sushi grade ahi. It's cooked in a marinade at the top with a wakame, wakame slaw, mandarin oranges, toasted sesame seeds. The second one, that's the bulgogi, the bee taco. It's a sweet Korean sirloin, topped with the broccoli slaw, Asian chimichurri. And the front one is the F taco, which is tilapia grilled with a lime cilantro slaw and a chipotle aioli and diced tomatoes on top. So how did you come up with the square taco? <sighs> well, when I started the food truck, everybody called me a taco truck. Ah. I'm not a taco truck, so I had a no tortilla rule, which caused me to have to be really creative. I wanted to introduce something different, and I uh, came across Lavash and it's an Armenian flatbread, and it actually fries up really well, it grills up really well. Our confudia, which is an appetizer item, is the grilled uh, lavash with roasted eggplant, yams, onion, red bell pepper inside with some goat cheese and the Asian chimichurri on top. So wow. yeah, it's a very versatile, easy, you know, thing to use. It makes it different. There's an art to eating them, so. Yeah, thank you. you Especially that on camera. Away. Thank yeah, you, yeah, Lori. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> this is the best. Well, this is, this is the only one I know, so I'll tell you it's the know. best one. I'm going to watch you. I, I never had a taco before. I know. Before. You've never had a taco before? You've really never had a taco before? No, never. Mm. Well, you tilt your head. <laughs> and then you check and see how much has fallen on your lap. Mm. <laughs> it's really different. It's similar to an Italian piadina sandwich, yeah. Her ah ahi is marinated, super high grade ahi, marinated perfectly. This is like a sushi in a sandwich. <laughs> no? Something like this? That's right, sushi in a sandwich. All right, so now I'm going for the Korean beef. Mm. 
So it's got a sweet sauce on it. So it's like beef and sweet. And then with the chimichurri slaw, that's good. So on the menu, you can order one, two, or three of these. I usually just have three of those. <laughs> I've never ventured out and tried anything else. Do they add this all day long, lunch and dinner? Yeah, all the time. I'll be back on Monday. That's an endorsement. The staunch Italian man loves these, and he'd never even tried a taco before, and so his first one was a confusion taco. So here is what I'm daring you to do, double dog daring you to do, because you can do things like that here at Confusion. You need to come down here, you need to try all of the things that we tried, and I want you to go to the Facebook page, either Confusions or Taste Buds, and tell us what you think about it. You are going to be delighted and surprised, because this is enchanting food. This is really, really off the bean path, and yet, right here on Five Cities Drive. <laughs> so get your culinary tourism going and come on down to Confusion. We'll be right back with more Taste Buds. If you've ever tried to purchase a business, then you know how important it is to get complete and accurate information. A certified business broker ensures that you get all the facts. We're really thankful that we had Gary Bayes negotiating with uh, landlords and paperwork and uh, we could really tell that Gary had both uh, our best interests and the best interests of the buyer in mind. Using Prestige will make the decision process less stressful and more secure. Call us today and get all the facts. Please join me and my special guest on Central Coast Now. We'll be going on a culinary tour of food, wines, and fun. Taste Buds will feature my dining treasures and special finds as food and wine experts test my palate. If you'd like your restaurant to be considered, please give us a call at 904-6904 or message Taste Buds on Facebook. Warning, do not watch Taste Buds while hungry. More food, more, more, more delightful food. All right, chicken. All right, chicken, kung <sighs> fu. The mufu. So oh. both with jasmine rice infused with coconut and lime. Oh. This is breaded chicken breast. Uh, carrots, red bell pepper, red onion, and a Thai orange sauce. Ew. Uh, Korean barbecue flank steak. Flank steak, it's a basic carne asada marinade. Uh, broccoli, bok choy, carrots, bean sprouts, pickled cucumber on top. Looks beautiful. All right, enjoy. Looks Looks appetizing. <laughs> Really, really tasty. Very good. So, what do you think, Chef? It's uh, surprisingly enough, I like everything that I had so far, and it's a new discovery on my part. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I really like the chicken. I really like the apple slaw. It's very different. What I think is best about all of this is it's all very healthy. No, it seems like it's all uh, fresh ingredients and cooking, you know, the cooking was done in a professional way, no oil, is no, and it's all very, very pleasant. Yeah, and different very, flavors, but uh -huh. put together perfectly. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if we can get the chef to come talk to us. So, new experience. Mm -hmm. It's good? Very good. Thank you, sir. He was saying that <clears throat> if you walked in here and looked at the menu, he would not know what to order, but now he's no, experienced I'm it. i thank you that you invited me to the mm. station. There you go. <laughs> I appreciate your openness to try it. It's just, like I said, it's different, and that's what a lot of people come across. If you're willing, a little bit open-minded, come in. Right. We Odds are we can find something that's going to please your palate. Yeah, your, your staff is really good at, at questioning. Yeah, okay. And it was like that on the food truck, too. You need to, you'd walk up to the food truck window, okay, A, do you eat meat? Because we have a huge vegetarian as well as gluten-free menu, you know that. And, you know, what is your flavor profile? Spicy, sweet, savory. And we could just start going from there. Shit, poultry, beef, you know, just kind of dial it in, figure out what people want. That's, so That's a very, very, very good quality yes. to have. My compliment. <laughs> I appreciate that more than you do. <laughs> so make sure you Again, come on down. Ah, this is a very happy step here. <laughs> make sure you come down to Confusion. Try everything. If you're not sure, her great staff will show you what to try. And you will always be pleased and surprised here, which is one of the things that I look for in a good restaurant. Come down here and enjoy the food. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Why don't you do the clothes, please? <laughs>
Thank you for joining us. That was delicious. Please make sure you complete the social media challenge and give me your feedback. Join us next time and see where my palette will lead you. And remember, eat well and live well.